Avalanche danger is being called considerable in higher elevations of the western United States. Snow slides have killed nine people this month, two of them just this past weekend in the state of Colorado. Experts are urging skiers to stay out of the backcountry. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi has more. The news was not good on Sunday in the small community of Twin Lakes near the U.S. state of Colorado's Independence Pass. At this point in time, they have found two bodies, have identified that they are fatalities. Late Saturday afternoon, seven skiers triggered a large avalanche in the area. The only two who were uninjured helped lead authorities to the men that died. They did tell us that um, they, they felt like they had identified where the people were and that they had put ski poles across those spots. The accident put an exclamation point on a week that saw a number of snow slides and their human toll. Avalanche professionals across the western U.S. are concerned and nervous, um, and I think that's pretty telling um, about current conditions. A series of recent storms have dumped heavy snow on many mountains across the western U.S. Our snowpack is built with buried weak layers in the snowpack, and then we've seen large, intense, and unusual storm events. And unusual weather produces unusual avalanches. One man was pushed 30 feet downhill by a huge slide he recorded on his helmet camera. I was just flying through the air and and it happened so fast. Avalanche experts say now is not the time to venture into the backcountry, but if you do, they say, bring the proper gear and know how to use it. Safety equipment like this airbag helps keep skiers on top of the snow. The experts say a lot of slopes have avalanched already. Those that didn't are still out there and perched and loaded with lots of snow, and many of them are just waiting for the additional little nudge to get them to release. It could be a little bit of new snow and wind, or it could be the additional weight of a person or two in the wrong spot. They're urging skiers and snowmobilers to stay as far away from those spots as they can for the time being. Henrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.